Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're going to look at the new with function in Power Apps and uh, to show you how you could use it in order to streamline your code to make it easier to write but also then to make it easier to reuse the same formulas in, in the future. So uh, we're very excited about this and thanks for watching. Let's jump into it. So whenever we talk about reusing formula or anything like that the first thing that should jump to mind is a variable and um, so let's go and have a look at the variables that we had available to us up to now and although with isn't really a variable you could see it as one we could use it similar to one so the first variable that we want to go and have a look is the set variable so we're going to have a um, let's put a label there it's going to be set and we're just going to make a note that this is a global variable so this is accessible right through the application and the only way that you can initiate or instantiate a, a global variable is on an action so we need to go and say set school as temp var and you can now go and set it to true or false or, or something like that a simple value or you can actually give it a record uh, so you can tell it to keep a record where the name is where the person's name might be Mike and uh, his surname might be Smith and spell that correctly and give it a there we go alright so that's now going to set the temp var variable with a record with two fields in it name and surname with the values of Mike and Smith so if we execute this and we're going to have a look at the variables you'll see there's a global variable which is accessible right through the app and it's got these values now this is great because we can now if we wanted to use these in any other function or any other control we could very easily do that by just as an example insert a label and we can go and reference var uh, sorry temp var and then we can go and say temp var dot name and that's now going to reference Mike which is uh, currently the name for that variable or the name in that variable rather and that works great the only problem is that if you want to have reuse this function now for whatever reason on different screens it would overwrite that variable every single time and you can't bring it local um, to whatever or give it more context to what you're busy with so that's where the next thing we're going to look at is the update context variable which is applicable to a screen so let's go and insert a label and we're going to say update context and this is screen aware alright so if you set it on a screen it'll only be available on that screen and again you can only initiate that on an action where we can go and say update context and we're going to give it a record we're going to say name is Mike and surname is Smith alright so there we've got a context variable and if we go and set that if we now go and have a look at the view variables you'll see that on the left hand side we can see the global variable set over there and then the context variables that's only available on the screen um, set to that and that's also great you can then access this very similar to how you did the global variable but it is only available on that screen so what do you do if you want to give a variable even more context in order to reuse it only in a specific formula that you're busy with so you don't want it to affect anywhere anything else and you might well you might not want it to affect any, anything else and you might want to make it easy to copy that formula somewhere else and tweak one or two things in the formula without going through the entire thing and, and changing it in different places and that's where the with function comes in very handy right so with the set and the update context variables or functions we needed to trigger actions and that's part of the the reason why you couldn't use it inside a formula only because you can't set something inside a, a formula or sorry inside a, a label for an example so you needed a trigger in order to do that so what I'm going to do is just use a very simple example and uh, we're going to insert a label 
and we're just going to say this is now where we're going to look at width width rather and uh, this is uh, only available to the formula that you're busy working in all right and uh, i'm going to add another label to actually show you what you could do with this so let's say we had a sentence we said the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog all right so there is my my label and uh, this is now a pretty basic text string now if i wanted to make certain um, portions of this formula and in this case it's just a text string but it doesn't matter it's, it works exactly the same way in, in formulas as well if I wanted to make certain of these things variables in, in order to, to make it easier to manipulate or to change these things going forward um, you can now use the width function and to do that we're going to add a width function over here uh, we're going to open and close it and then in there we're going to give it a record so you'll see in the the hint over there it says it's looking for a scope and then that scope you could basically see it as a, a variable because you're going to then be able to use everything in that scope throughout your formula which is the second part of the width statement so in this case let's say we're going to define the animal um, actually just do that so it just looks proper and easier to read and indent I'll do the indentation just now so let's say the animal that does the jumping we're going to use a fox and the animal that's going to do the that's going to be lazy it's going to be a dog and then uh, yeah, let's use those two for now. So essentially, we have, let's do that. All right, and now we can pass it the second parameter. So this, with these two properties, is now going to be reusable throughout the formula. So let's go and specify this formula and gonna copy this text string in here. Okay, and just set the formula formatting in. Right, so that's looking nice and nice and proper. So what we can now go and do is we can go and say the quick brown fox, and we're going to turn this into a variable. So we can say brown and ampersand, and now we're going to call the animal that jumps, and it's now reading this the list of these variables from the scope which I defined earlier. So I can go and say the animal that does the jumping and okay there we go so that's going to say and if you look at the actual preview at the bottom it says the quick, br uh, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and we can now do a similar thing um, at the end where we can go and say we we'll replace that with the animal that is lazy All right and there you'll see it's actually updating it at the bottom immediately all right, so this is a very simple formula, but if it was a complex one and you now needed to go and tweak and change these things, you would go and do it in one place and you'll go and do it in the scope of this. So let's say that we want the fox to jump over the cat now. We can go and change it in the scope and that'll change everywhere in the formula or the formula would automatically be aware of this change. So now that we've built a very basic version of it, it might be now worth looking at some of these more complex examples. And in this example, you'll see that again, you're setting up the radius and the height, and then you're using those parameters inside of the formula, and uh, it works very well. This one is, is quite a lot more complex, and uh, this is got a nested width, so this will show you the top level parameters and then using some of these parameters in in order to determine these three parameters and then ultimately using these three parameters in your actual formula so we've built this in power apps as well and it works very well and very very good um, it's just now that you have a basic understanding of how and why this is done like this it might be easier for you to understand these these formulas 
So thank you for watching and uh, please if you found this useful please like and subscribe and comment and all of these things and then uh, we're looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye bye.